now that you have the scope set up, we're going to aim it. And so let's say that um, that black object on the ceiling there in the corner is uh, the moon or some object you want to see in the sky. So we're going to aim the telescope to be able to look at that. All right. So in order to do that, you have to loosen up some of the, the controls here. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to loosen is this, uh, this knob. Actually, the first thing you want to loosen is there's a knob down here. Okay, when you loosen this knob, which is basically under the support of the telescope, it's right down here on the neck of it. So loosen this knob just a little bit. And what that allows you to do is, is to rotate the telescope like this. Okay, rotate it like that. Okay, then you're going to loosen this knob. Remember the slow motion control knob here? Okay, so there's a, there's a, a lock nut here. So we're going to loosen this. Just a little bit. So what that allows you to do is, is to <clears throat> rotate the telescope like this, up and down. Okay. All right. So I'm going to temporarily tighten that. Not that you have to. Actually, we can just leave it loose. <clears throat> now, in order to aim this, you're going to use this thing right here, which is called a finder scope. And this telescope has a pretty uh, handy one. I put a note on here because uh, the last time when I got this from you, you had the, the batteries worn off because somebody left the, the, the finder scope on. It has like a little LED in it that you need to turn on in order to aim it. And so the switch for that is right here. So you'll turn on the finder scope right here. And there are two settings. The first notch is dim. The next one is bright. I'm going to set it to bright. Now, of all of the things on this telescope, be very careful that you don't nudge this thing. If you nudge it, it's going to be pointing maybe slightly in a, in a different direction. And I'll talk about that while using the telescope on how you can always basically check it while you're using the scope. Okay, so now the finder scope is turned on. <clears throat> We're going to loosen the... Actually, this is already loose, so make sure this is loose. And then make sure that the the other nut under here is loose. So now what we can do is, is we can grab the telescope from the back like this. And we can rotate it around and point it. Okay, so... <clears throat> what you'll do is, is you'll look through, you're going to look through this finder scope and you'll see a red dot in there. Basically like a little laser pointer and you're going to get the dot aligned. Let me zoom in on this. All right. You're going to align the red dot so that it is on the object that you are interested in. Just got, you might have to move your head around a little bit in order to pick up the dot. Okay, there's the dot. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the position of the telescope so that the red dot is on the object that I want to see. Let's see if I can do this a little bit better here. Here we go. Wait. All right, like that. And that's just by swinging the telescope around a bit. It's a little easier when you're just doing it with your eye instead of me trying to videotape it. But okay, so now that I have that there, and again, you're 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 basically <clears throat> pointing this, and you might have to hold it steady. And so while you're holding it steady, you want to lock these nuts down again. Actually, just this one. You want to leave the the base one uh, loose, and and be aware that as you use this telescope, you're going to have to to move it a little bit to keep the object in view. Oops. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that in the, in the next part. So now we aim the telescope. It should be pointing at the object we're interested in.